Hello everyone and today I'm for the first time recording in GNOME as you can see and it's the very first time since I've started using OBS everything works and what I'm going to show you on GNOME is how to use KD Plasma applets on GNOME which sounds crazy but you can actually do it and if you are asking why should I do that well I gotta say there are some widgets in KD Plasma that are very much useful and you might want to use a full-fledged plasma panel in GNOME and of course to achieve that we're going to use LatteDoc if you don't know what LatteDoc is it, it's a first party um, doc but also a panel whatever you want it to be it's very customiz customizable and you can use it usually in plasma to replace your normal plasma panel or complement it and it allows you to do pretty much everything but it also works on GNOME and you can see that I can you can install it with uh, sudo apt-get in install latidoc and um, then it will appear on your application list and you can launch it from here but uh, just to show you uh, I can also launch it from here with latidoc without the replace because it's not actually running just default layout which tells it just use the defaults because I did customize it but like this you will see that it will appear on the bottom using its default which is a very simple doc with all of the applications and already if you use GNOME and you want a third-party doc well this is a good option it's the plasma one and the good thing about it is that it's so customizable so let's uh, right click and uh, we can edit doc and we'll get this uh, customization window with an advanced button which I would suggest you to click right away because so much uh, useful stuff in it and if you're using LatteDoc in GNOME you probably want you're probably an advanced user so lots of stuff uh, but uh, the main thing that we want to do is I think uh, I don't remember where is it again but somewhere, somewhere, you should have a panel button somewhere. That's where it was here. Uh, what if I do add a uh, default panel like this? Let's give it a second to actually work. Oh, it was here, dock panel, sorry about that. And now we've got the default panel of Plasma in GNOME. So we don't need this one anymore, so let's take it off and uh, we can see that the our panel is cropping up with this activity button so, so let's move it to the bottom and is this plasma is this gnome we cannot tell anymore and it works um, with some caveats uh, let's close the settings as an example well i can open kickoff and it will act as intended maybe it's uh, uh, no, I, I thought it was a bit slow, but it actually isn't. It's very much not. And uh, you get all of the options that LatteDoc has. And um, some of the things is... Um, you don't get transparency and... Uh, sorry, the opposite. You do get transparency, but you don't get blur. So you can see that windows that are beneath... Uh, this applet as an example you can see through them it's probably not a big deal for most of you uh, it's just might be slightly annoying you can absolutely customize the opacity and transparency of the panel I don't think you can uh, of uh, the actual widgets unless you change the plasma theme which you can I don't know how you would do it on GNOME but you can do that, just install KD Plasma <laughs> and do it there. I don't know how. And you can install and run any third party widget. Uh, yes, you can see that there's uh, some issues that, like if I click on the desktop, this should disappear. It doesn't have to click on an application for it to actually disappear. Animations are slightly off, but it looks good anyway but I was as I was saying we can add um, any third-party widget if we click on add widgets we get the Kri plasma add widgets um, sidebar just like there and there's all of all of them like all of them 
Mm, let's pick one, like a very simple one, desktop nodes. And we can add it here in Letterdoc. And it's done. And we can open it up and start typing. And it's just like Plasma, just like that. Please get our apps back. It uh, did minimize them, okay. And what else to say? I think this is so cool. Like, honestly, it everything that you would expect, expect to work actually works. Like the minimize button actually minimized applications. You can open and close applications through here. Of course, uh, the panel doesn't appear as its own application in the overview. You can switch between virtual desktops, even though these are GNOME virtual desktops and not KD Plasma ones. So Latidoc does actually recognize, um, I don't know if it's Latidoc or the actual uh, KD Plasma widget, but something does work here, which I don't know what that is. Uh, you get all of the system tray, which allows you to change the speakers. Uh, if you don't like fully like this one, you can install this one, which has a bit more options. If you're into that, you can do, if you don't like the full panel, do just a dock with only the widgets that you'll actually need. As, I saw, as you saw at the beginning, in the small dock, you could actually add any kind of widget already. You didn't, didn't need, sorry, to actually do the whole panel thing. You can see that there is the microphone, it's a bit high. Let's lower it to 96%. Do you still hear me? Yes, there's Wi-Fi, the clipboard, everything works. Let me show you a bit more options. You can, of course, um, change the alignment, blah, blah, blah. The visibility, you can set it to auto hide or dodge the maximize application or all of them. So many options, like every time I open this menu, there's more stuff in it, it's, it's awesome. You can uh, customize the actions uh, that happen when you actually, you know, click on it. Like as an example, if we use uh, the left button on the panel, we can actually drag the active application. Mm, somehow, I don't, I don't know if it works, honestly. It did work, of course, on Plasma, uh, but maybe it's only for um, maximized uh, applications, I don't remember. As far as appearance go, you can customize the items, the size, the margins. You can like um, the background as well. So that's even more transparent. And of course you can pick the opacity, whatever you want. Can you actually do blur? Does it support it? It doesn't, see, told you. It doesn't support Blur, obviously. That's because of uh, Blur not being implemented in the Queen, sorry, in the GNOME's um, window manager. You can make it opaque only when touching a window. So you know, like the default top bar in like Ubuntu, I think, is like uh, transparent by default, but when maximized, it becomes opaque. You can do that. Effects, the shadows, uh, I think these are off because um, CSD shadows don't work here, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember, sorry about that. Is there actually any shadow I can tell? Let me change the background right away. Right away, my computer is very slow. This is very light. I don't see any shadow, but maybe I'm blind and I can't zoom in. I'm so used to plasma, but um, yeah green uh, as far as shadow goes for kickoff you don't get shadows for uh, applets either you can see that the positioning of kickoff is wrong it should be uh, i can't move it i can't move it that's sad it should be attached to the border without this weird empty line uh, but honestly it's fine like if you wanted something cool to try out and uh, all of the powers, power of KDE applets and everything that works there as far as I've seen works here as well. So I think this is super nice. 
like honestly, the fact that you can just open this app and everything that works in KDE like works here. Uh, isn't it amazing? Like honestly, honestly, let me, honestly. And I think that was enough for today. I don't have anything else to say on the panel. So let me just say bye to all of you and thanks to all of the patrons. Like honestly, I've received even more messages, which is like extraordinary. I received a boom of, view, boom of views and I thought after that it would uh, go back to normal. It didn't. So many of you are still watching this video, super happy. And there's also this special guest here. And lastly, I want to say is that my normal room where I usually record is currently three degrees. Here it's very cold, so uh, you will see me changing the room pretty often. And that was it. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.